So the other day I wrote and uh, posted a song uh, that I wrote called, uh, what I call it? I called it Sugar and Whiskey. And uh, so here's kind of the rough, uh, rough bit of it. And I'll just kind of scroll it up just so you can see the lyrics. Someone asked me um, if I could post a video showing how to play it. And I think that's kind of funny because the truth is I'm still learning how to play it. So, um, but I figure by showing you, I can learn it better myself and, and maybe cover a few uh, banjo techniques while I'm at it. So, uh, it kind of goes... Um, Get some shut eye and hit the road early. Tomorrow's a big day, and so is the next. Blow out the candles, the kids need their rest. Food bags are empty, and the money's running tight. It'll take more than prayers to get us through the night. We can steal milk and a small loaf of bread, but to steal is to sin, so we're better off dead. They say the future's uncertain, and the past is full of regret. second half of the song is pretty much the the same as the first half but so let me break that down a little bit more um, the aside from the chord shape itself the verse and the and the, the smaller breaks are, are quite easy um, I'm just doing E minor to B7 and B7 back to E minor and as a refresher E minor is, um, it's pretty much your ring finger on the first string second fret and then your middle finger on the fourth string second fret. And then the one chord I really like, it's it's actually a B minor seventh. Um, and it's, it's actually not terrible to play because, um, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to reach the, the strings. Uh, but it's pretty much your pinky fingers on the first string fourth fret, your middle fingers on the third string second fret, and your uh, pointer fingers on the uh, first, fourth string, first fret. So it has kind of a. So it's really just your B minor sound, but kind of it's got that that tension of a seventh chord. All right, and I I use it in a few songs. I I probably abuse it, but. Um, so, I, I mean, practice those chord shapes. You don't, I mean, I'm not really focusing a lot on, on the right hand right now because it's, it's actually not important. Um, a lot of people ask me, what, what tabs are you playing? But I don't really use tabs. I just kind of improvise off of the chords. So the most important part is, is the, the chord shapes. So even if you're kind of learning to play, you can use basic frailing strum. E minor, B7, B minor 7, E minor. Now, a lot of times I'll do that hammer on with the middle finger. So you might see me. If I strike the fourth string and hammer on, and then I'll strike the third string but still hammer on the fourth. They call that a phantom hammer on, right? So it's and I and I just do a lot of those phantom hammer ons. I alternate the hammer on with the phantom hammer on. So um, when I'm doing the B7 shape, I'll strike the third string 
and then I'll strike the second string but still do the hammer on on the third string with my middle finger. And a lot of times, um, this is kind of a sneaky little trick, but you, you see going from that B7 to the E shape, sometimes I don't have enough time to get there, so I'll just sort of cheat and strike the string early and then do a full chord hammer on it. So if I'm going... And really all I'm doing is just breaking those quarter notes in half. Um, sometimes I won't do the hammer-ons, a lot of times I'll just do um, a drop time. Drop time. And of course, when I'm singing, I'll, I'll do the dynamics and the drop thumb, but maybe I'll cut it back a little bit because I don't want it to distract too much from the vocal melody. So it's... Pack up the wagon, sugar and whiskey. Let's get some shut eye and hit the road early. Tomorrow's a big day and so is the next. Blow out the candles, the kids need their rest. So, now after I do the second verse, then I go right into the chorus without doing a break. So, um, they say the future's uncertain. And the past is full of regret. We'll drink to the memory of loved ones, but never too much, never too much, never too much to forget. And that's also pretty easy. It's um pretty much just C. They say the future's on and then E minor. Uncertain. And then to be seven. B minor seven again, and the past is full of re E minor regret. And then C again. Drink to the memory of the E minor loved ones, and then I mix it up by doing the B major. But never too much, and I do that part three times. Never too much, never too much to forget. And when I do that third never too much, I might do more strumming and less drop thumbing just to give it kind of that intensity. And again, I improvise the melody. So if you feel more comfortable with hammer-ons or pull-offs, or if you feel more comfortable with drop thumbs, do whatever feels right to you. Um, it, you know, it's, it's, it's about breaking those notes in half to give it a little bit of uh, uh, flavor, so. They say the future's uncertain And the past is full of regret We'll drink to the memory of loved ones But never too much Never too much Never too much to forget After I sing forget, I, I just kind of ride that E minor chord for a while and I pluck out a bit of a melody, but really it's just to, I'm just dragging the E minor out. I could just play the E minor just like that, but I kind of like breaking it. That, that's all I'm doing. So the I'm not really playing a fancy melody. All I'm doing is if I... If I take my middle finger now, our finger, and take it off of the fourth string, second fret, and I put it on the third string, second fret, that works because that note is still in the E minor scale. And uh, you'll see that note is used on a D chord and an A minor chord. Not that those chords are used in this song, 
but those chords are in the E minor scale, so any any note that lands on a chord within the scale is fair game for melody. So usually I, I shoot for those melody notes, those filler notes that, um, you know, just to break it up, things that are within finger's reach. So a lot of times I'll just... I'm just doing a pull off. So I pull off the third, strike the fourth. And there, you notice I'm not doing a full hammer on like that. I just go... And that's just a quarter note run. I just... So one thing I like to do a lot to, to play out my melodies is... Is, is to go ahead and it, it's okay not to strum and, and not use your thumb for every beat. You don't have to go one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and every time you can just go. The more you mix it up, the more more uh, variety uh, there is in the song. It sounds more complicated than it is, but. And you notice a lot of times I don't always pull my, my thumb off, right? So it's... Let's see if I can get a better angle there of what I'm doing. You probably don't even hear that, that fifth string going off. And then you go back to... Now the break that I like to play after the um, chorus is usually for most songs the break is the same chords as the verse. In this case I, I really like the chord um, progression for that chorus, the one that goes from the C, E minor, B7, E minor, C, E minor. And then B, 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 E minor. So, so you're basically just doing the same thing uh, without singing. Few people might ask me, um, 
and it would have been nice if I saw more of your right hand play. Um, but I think when it comes to learning a song, um, the, the right hand is more your technique. You can use the basic frailing strum, or you can use drop down, or or you can use even you know some three finger technique if you like. The song is still the song. It's it's the it's the chords with the lyrics, and you kind of the melody is the the singing is going to carry the melody and. And I think if you use your ear more than anything, you'll figure out which strings to strike that sound the best to go with the words. Um, now there's a chance that as I keep playing this, um, by next month it might even start to sound a little different. The strings that I strike might sound different because I'll be getting better at hearing the melody from the banjo kind of uh, harmonizing with the melody from the singing. So, um, but anyway, that's... That's how I write songs, and uh, I usually don't teach people how to play my own songs. It kind of feels, seems a little weird because these are kind of amateur songs. But hey, if you if you play it, play it, and um, uh, re you know, once again, you can rewind and pause and, and get the the lyrics. And um, if you play it and make a video of it, um, you know, send me a copy uh, or just link it to me or something. I just that'd, that'd make my day to hear you play it. So uh, thanks so much.